What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, everybody? Anyway, people's champ, y'all know what it is. We get into the grind, get into the grind, stand on the gas, heavy with it. So, listen, I wanted to make this video because I'm not too sure if you guys are aware of the muscle decor um, live screen that we did about Fuad and this guy, Mike something, don't know his last name. Um, and was addressing our opinions and you know some stuff came out about the contracts that Fuad had people sign his athletes sign and you know people are like well me and Matt both have our own opinion about that you know he felt like you know he's limiting them to certain things and like why would he put that in a contract of telling them that they can't go on no other weekly podcasts and everything. Me, I said they signed it. So whether he put it in there or not, not stating that it's a good thing that he put it in there, but whether you put it in there or not, those athletes signed that shit. And the moment they didn't like how things were going is the moment they decide to up and leave. Once the contract is up, some leave before the contract is up, which is a breach of contract. This is the thing. There's ways to spin everything that pertains to publicity to where it's beneficial for both parties. Now, if he would let his guys go on weekly podcasts or star weekly podcasts, and then he put that they have to um, advertise his products, you know, wear a hat, wear a shirt, have a supplement in the background, give it a shout out throw the promo code out there while they're doing the podcast that right there makes it beneficial for both parties Fuad he's not doing that I also stated that Fuad need to sit his ass down and let these men be men and athletes and just play the backfield you know cause let's be real you have a great product you have a great brand you get great athletes you just don't keep them now what goes on behind those scenes only the athletes and he knows what goes on with it but to us viewers supporters fans of this lifestyle we're seeing um seeing it in a negative way like well why is they leaving why is he leaving why is everybody leaving it happens even in relationships no one always stay together that's just life now the whole Mike guy, um, me, I don't care two, two fucks about, about anything going on with him. Like, I already know what type of power I carry or whatever, so I'm not worried about no, no threats or no negativity, none of that. None of that right there moves me at all. You know, because I can use myself for an example. I am the national president of my motorcycle chapter. I'm the founder. I'm all of that and above. And that's just like me letting my guys join my any chapters that I have out there. I have six and still growing. Let them join my club. Be a part of our brotherhood. And I tell them they can't wear no other club supporter patches on their vests. That's just crazy. Why would I do that? Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Hold on, let me give me a burger real quick. Um, yeah, I tried it just without that pineapple on it, though. We could do a double. Nah, just a burger. That'll be it. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that's like me telling my guys they can't wear uh, supporter patches to other clubs. Like, it makes no sense because the thing is, all they do is spread the awareness and it spread my brand out there even further. It shows the how strong our brotherhood is. You know what I'm saying? But it is, hello. Right. Nah, I'm okay. You 
you know, like I had members leave. Uh, my first 90 days with being a motorcycle club, I was up 100 members. Thank you. I was up 100 members. Out of that 100 members, I kept growing and I lost uh, about 20 to 30 members for whatever reasons. That don't mean that I'm a terrible uh, leader. That don't mean that my leadership is bad. But when they left, my club expanded even more. We're just not, we all on the, on the West Coast, you know, California, um, Vegas, Nevada, like we're growing, right? But you don't want to put limitations on your brand when you can spin it to where it benefit both parties. Because if I let my men and I'll allow them to be men and I allow them to support whatever club they're personally cool with on their colors, on their vest, put on their cuts, all they do is build a stronger bond with that next club because of whatever member I have in my brotherhood is extended olive branches and we're we're mending bridges, you know. We we building better allies and all of this. So I can use myself when I talk about that type of stuff. And I think if Fuad was to rethink his approach about the contract that he had without letting them have weekly podcasts, I think they would still be there. I think that his brand would get even larger. And I think that it would become more of a relief, a weight off of his shoulders would have to oversee everything because he's only involved in everything because he's not really trusting his men. Now, the proof is in the pudding. Samson, he allowed Samson to be Samson. Samson headstrong. He got a very headstrong wife and everything. So it's like, you, you can't really put stipulations on people's like that because you know, you can lose in a long run when it comes to that. But that's just me. That's how I feel about it. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right. Yeah, that's just me. That's how I approach things. Now, like I said, those dudes signed them contracts. They knew what was in them. Shame on them. Because for them, once they don't like how things go to just abruptly just leave, and make it seem like it's solely on him, that's bullshit. Me, I'm a right is right, wrong is wrong type of man. I'm always stating my opinion about a person just because I'm stating my, my opinion does not mean that Mack Truck is right. Does not mean that Mack Truck hates whoever I might state opinion that might be negative to that person. Don't mean that I hate them or dislike them. I feel fool I got a pimp mind mentality. Hey, I do as well, shit. I did male exotic for 20 years for women. Shit, I bought my first house off of male exotic. Like, really? Come on now. Off of what? Women. I also do it a whole lot of other things that I don't have to mention. But nothing like nature jelly with this gay for pay shit. Letting me and suck him off and then saying he's straight. Like, I don't care how Nick try to spin this. Fuad won that battle when he dropped that. He won that fucking battle. So, <laughs> um, you know, it's just we got to realize at the end of the day that however we choose to live our lives, as long as we at peace and comfortable and proud of what we're doing, everybody else's opinion on the outside shouldn't matter. We should expect people to have an opinion. Hell, everybody got opinions about me all the time all the time. Y'all ain't see me ease up off the gas yet. Y'all ain't seen me take none of that to to heart and change who I am because of how someone might view me. Really? No. I don't move that way. So, those that um watch the uh, Muscle Decor lives on Mondays with me and Matt, we greatly appreciate you guys. You know, we debating, we not gossiping, we just stating opinions. Me, I don't have no dogs and no fights and I don't have no personal grudges against anyone, especially no one in this industry or business to where that I would be just making a whole lot of coverage on trying to break their platform and tarnish their brand. 
Anyways, the people's champ giving it to you, gun barrel straight, raw and uncut, no filter. Till next time, I'll smell y'all later. Bye. Kick, kick, kick.